Hello, and very happy to see you on my channel tonight. I can't stop laughing when Prince Harry says he didn't know unconscious bias existed, despite my education and upbringing, until he walked a day in Meghan's shoes as he speaks to a Black Lives Matter campaigner who rescued a white counter protester. His wife's shoes probably cost a few thousand dollars. Lots of people would love to walk in her shoes for a day. I wish he would stop his preachy complaining and virtue signaling. Just a few hours ago, Harry spoke about racism in an interview with Black Lives Matter activist Patrick Hutchinson for GQ magazine and admitted, quote, his upbringing and education did not equip him to understand the issue. He said, once you realize or feel a bit uncomfortable, then the onus is on you to go out and educate yourself because ignorance is no longer an excuse. Harry spoke from his 11 million pound home in Montecito, California, during a candid chat with activist Mr. Hutchinson from GQ Heroes Conference, which runs this week. Added, an unconscious bias, from my understanding, having the upbringing and the education that I had, I had no idea what it was. I had no idea it existed. And then, sad as it is to say, it took me many, many years to realize it especially then living a day or a week in my wife's shoes. I can't understand, Harry. He repeats a lot of what he has said in the past, that people need to talk and ask questions to learn. Ironically, he says people won't get it right, but there will be people to tell you if you get it wrong or suggest you do something differently, something he fails to do. Clearly, he contradicts himself when he says this conversation should not be done on social media, as it's evil, remember? So, duh, this video is being posted on social media. He used the new word salad phrase of the echo chamber and seems truly indoctrinated. While racism is an important issue, is this sensitive bandwagon that the Sussexes will stay on because they know they will get support from specific groups? They're trying so hard to stay relevant when people of every group have much more important things to worry about. And they now live in America, but get more coverage than ever before. Please adhere to their wishes, which were to remain out of the limelight. This is becoming boring. Go back to your mansion and eat your avocado toast. Your country is in a much bigger crisis, but you're okay in California in luxury, despite neither of you have had your job for years. And what were you doing in Megan's shoes? Seriously, how can everyone who has ever met Megan have been so mean to her because she is black? If no one told you she was, you wouldn't instantly think she was. She's just a very attractive lady. She could be Spanish, Italian, South American, Native Indian, mixed race, black and white, any of them heritages. You would immediately look at her and say, she's black, let me be mean to her, if that was who you were. Nonsense. She's like a feminist vegan at a male football team barbecue. Really? Megan's life is the ultimate luxury. And let's be honest, she has no protocol when she was doing royal duties by constantly pushing in front of Harry and demanding Disney to give her a job. Unconscious bias, what does that actually mean? Harry has lost the plot and the queen needs to sort this mess out when Harry eventually comes back to sort things out. And having watched the video in its entirety, I feel sorry for Patrick, who is educated by the first-hand experience on this subject and passionate about his forthcoming project. Such a shame Harry hadn't done a bit more homework before trying to interview him, whereupon he could have matched Patrick's subject knowledge. Every time Harry opens his mouth, I just despair at how self-absorbed and fond of his own voice he is. I can't comment further on this as I get no further than the headline. Can he not find a real occupation instead of being an ill-informed preacher? Presumably there are some out there listening to his rambling. Let's come to other news. Royal fans blasted Harry while praising Prince Philip. He takes no shit. As I reported in the previous video, Meghan and Harry shocked the world by announcing they were stepping down as senior members of the royal family. 
They have since moved to Los Angeles with their son, Archie, a momentous chapter in the royal family's storied past. And a royal expert has claimed Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, was unable to comprehend why his grandson would want to leave the firm. While Philip is heartbroken to have had to turn his back on his own grandson, royal fans have praised his decision, saying he is, quote, a wise man. One person on Twitter said, Prince Philip is a wise man. Shame the rest of them. Don't follow suit. Harry really ought to have listened when Philip said, one steps out with actresses. They don't marry them. Very wise words, considering. Another person simply put it, the Duke takes no shit. While someone else attacked the Duke of Sussex for not understanding his grandfather's work ethics or responsibility. They said, quote, Harry will never understand Prince Philip's work ethics or his sense of responsibility. Harry has always been drawn to the celeb world, but happy to enjoy the privileges of his birth. Someone else said the prince is unlikely to see his grandson and great-grandson again. They said, what sort of person goes out of his way to hurt his elderly grandparents, who are in their 90s? No wonder Prince Philip has washed his hands of the two of them quitters. It is just as well since he will likely never see them again anyway or their kid. Do you see that? Cantankerous and bloody-minded, so, so, and so, but he has stood by the queen, his family, and his country, despite it not being his idea of a man's job. Despite the verbal faux pas in his past, he really does not deserve a petulant, sulky, stroppy man-child for a grandson in his last years. We all know the reason Megamoth didn't give up her acting career and support her husband. Probably something she swore to do before she got the ring on her finger. If she truly loved him, she would have done so, as Kate has done for William. Like everything with her, it's all about me, 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 and milking people for what she can get. This is why I keep saying all titles must be removed and any form of financial subsidizing. Once hapless is stripped bare of everything royal and royal-related, then he'll have lost his usefulness and she'll cast him aside. Then he'll return to the UK. I hope this happens before Philip visits the great crown in the sky and he gets to see his grandson once more. Not only me, but many fans also slammed Harry. A fan wrote on Daily Express, the way Harry is treating the Queen and Prince Philip is disgusting. They were the two people that were a constant couple in the family to help raise them after what tragically happened to his mom. And the spoiled man-child deserves all that's coming his way, as it will be too late soon enough, as his grandparents are well into their 90s. He can't take back or rewind the years. He was not there for them as they were for him. A very spoiled, privileged idiot, and that's being polite. He doesn't look happy. He looks ill and controlled, with a woman watching his every move and told what to say. If he was a woman, everyone would be saying, get out now to him. But maybe he is not what he used to make out he was before meeting Mimi. Another said that Megan now has the delusion that she is all-powerful. She managed to split the royal family and get exactly what she wanted. She now has this mega millions deal to talk about all issues, many she is not an expert on. But hey, jump on the bandwagon and get your face in the papers. Powerful people, though, can do it by themselves, without their prince. She could not. Most don't want them back in England. I'm not sure they would ever be accepted back in the royal fold. Meanwhile, some fans also blasted Harry on the beginning news, wrote on Daily Mail of fan claims. You have hit the nail on the head, hapless. You are clueless to what is happening outside your overprivileged bubble. Like you say, even with your education, come and walk a day in the shoes of someone who has just lost their job and has kids to feed and COVID ensuring they will not be getting another one anytime soon. Try applying for benefits you get more chances of finding a unicorn. This is why nobody wants to listen to your trip. You feel like you've had an awakening. 
No, you haven't. You are making little videos from your 11 million pound pad, being paid a fortune by Netflix simply because you are the ginger royal. You are and always will be clueless. Another added, he wasn't aware of white privilege either or proton quantum mechanical engineering, photosynthetic bioscientific crop production, or nanochemicals protein manufacturing. The world is full of things most people know nothing about. First, educate yourself, and when you have understood the issues from all angles, then you may lecture others. It's called teaching. But the last one concluded, to be honest, I haven't read the article. I'm just fed up that every time I open this newspaper online, there's a prominent picture, article, about Harry or Meghan. Really not interested in these two anymore. Enough troubling, interesting, good, bad news out there that is more newsworthy. Other papers are just the same. Wish I knew why. And you, what do you think about Prince Harry? Please let me know in the comment section below and everyone also discuss them together. If you so prefer my video today, remember to like and share it with anyone you think will also love it like you. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sussex Daily News channel version 2 to get more news videos from our team. Now goodbye and see you tomorrow.